Hello and welcome to Math Illustrations Basics Tutorial 5 presented by Saltier Software. My name is Audrey and today I'm going to be showing you how to create 3D figures as well as how to import a pre-rendered figure from the figure gallery. Let's start by selecting our line segment tool in our draw toolbox and creating the base of our 3D figure. I'm going to make just a simple triangle the line segment tool and next we want to go back up and select our select tool and we want to highlight all of these elements you can either do this by holding control and selecting all of them or you can click and drag and that'll highlight everything next we'll go to our construct and choose the translation tool and if we click from the bottom and drag to the top of the screen, it'll create an arrow, and it'll also create a translation of our triangle. You'll want to connect these triangles together, again using the line segment tool. So we click and drag from A to A, then B to B, and C to C. Now if you want to stylize this more as a 3D image, you can select your select tool again and highlight these inside lines and then right click go to line properties line style and select the dot and then you have some dashed lines inside and finally if you want you can make these look perpendicular by holding control and selecting the inner walls going to annotate and select the perpendicular and you can do these for the bottom and then this side and finally what you'll probably want to do is hide your labels and any other elements that you don't want to see and the best way to do that is to hit control and select any points or labels that maybe you don't want in the picture. And then you right click and hide and there's your basic 3D figure. Now we're going to import a figure from the figure gallery so I'm gonna get rid of this and the fastest way to do that is to simply drag over the entire figure and delete it. To get a figure from the figure gallery you can go up to file import figure and then it'll come up with this nice gallery and labels of all the things you can import. Let's import something from the solids folder and this is the basic shape we just did so we'll select that and choose import and there we have our basic figure already made for us now because this is an MI file you can still move it around how adjust it however you want but that's also available to you this has been how to create 3d figures and import from the figure gallery my name is Audrey and I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below. Or if you're interested in math illustrations, you can find out more at www.mathillustrations.com. Thanks for watching.